everybody welcome back to a brand new video so today is going to be a super fun one we are heading out today to Orlando we're going to go out to dinner and I thought I would take you guys with us we're going to eat at a really fun restaurant that I'm looking forward to I have never been there before so I'm going to take you guys out for the evening but we're also having like a slow start at home it is Sunday morning as I am filming this video so we had that really nice cozy start where we watched Liam play in the living room. We had our coffee and our hot chocolate, which you guys saw. I love including that in the morning clips of the vlog. I just think it's such a nice, relaxing, cozy start um, because life can be hectic. And that's one of my favorite rituals to do in the morning. I did my skincare, which also brings me to today's sponsor, which is Dime. Oh my gosh, the most amazing skincare ever. If you are unfamiliar with Dime's skincare, they create amazing, luxurious, clean beauty skincare products. They're effective and they are approachable. They are also Leaping Bunny certified, which is amazing. They're made in the USA. They are 100% transparent about what is in their beauty products. Their products never contain sulfates, phthalates, parabens, BPA, BPS. So you can use their products worry-free. All their ingredients are listed on their site. They have no filler ingredients. So my personal skin type is acne prone, very sensitive, and also like a combination oily. They have been very kind and sent me the works system, which is incredible. It's really easy to on their site to find out what skincare works best for you. They have a skin quiz. You can shop their best sellers on their site and you can also shop by skin concerns. So that's really awesome. Dime's best selling all-in-one system, The Works, includes all the essentials for a straightforward result-driven skincare routine for day and night. To pick a few favorites is very difficult. I love their serums. They're amazing. The skincare routine that I'm filming as I am talking to you guys now is actually my morning skincare routine. So I stick with the jelly cleanser. I always tone morning and night. And then I went in with the hyaluronic acid serum. This little guy is very powerful. I love it. They also have the TBT serum, the hyperglow serum, the hyperglow I will use in the morning as well. And then the TBT serum I'll use in the evening and their day cream is so nice it sits perfectly under my makeup it made like the perfect base for applying makeup they make luxurious skincare at a very affordable price all of their products are under $60 so if you're wanting to get into skincare or start a new regimen or just try something new this is a great place to start so if any of you would like to give Dime a try, go to dimebeautyco.com slash Mindy20 and enter promo Mindy20 at checkout to get 20% off your own Dime skincare routine. Dime also offers a 60 day return and 100% guarantee satisfaction. So if you are unsatisfied in any way, you are able to reach out to the team. And again, guys, if you'd like to give them a try, go to dimebeautyco.com slash Mindy20 and enter promo Mindy20 at checkout to get 20% off your own Dime skincare routine. Thank you so much, Dime, for sponsoring this portion of today's video and for sending me the most amazing skincare that have made absolute staples in my skincare routine. So yeah, guys, 10 out of 10 recommend. They are amazing. So I need to get on packing bags now. So mom and dad are gonna hang out with Liam for the day. So I need to get all of his stuff ready, pack a bag. So I don't think we're gonna be getting in till very late tonight. So as I said, we're going out to Orlando and we're meeting a friend for dinner, which I actually spoke about in a vlog previously, but today is the day, I'm very excited about it. And we're actually going to City Walk. That's where the restaurant is located. So. This will be the first time we've ever gone into Universal, by the way, and not gone to actual Universal. We're just gonna stay in City Walk and look around. I have been told that they have new products out in the Universal store, so I might take a peek at some of those. But in the meantime, we're gonna hang out at home, relax, um, not really relax, <laughs> get packed, get organized, get ready, run out the door, and yeah, I'm excited to spend the day with you guys, and I hope you enjoy. All right, buddy. Ready for bank? There you go. Come on. And one second. Dutty baseball Adidas. Let's pull that pant leg down, honey. There you go. I'm bringing this with me for the walk. Okay. Hi. 
You ready to go? <sighs> you see the camera? Right, so we have all made it in the car. It is a very chilly day here in Florida. In fact, we are supposed to have some low temperatures, I believe in a week, maybe this coming weekend, like a low of 26 degrees, 28 degrees. And for Florida guys, that's insane. What else do you need? Hello. That's it. Yep. Hello. We, we have made it to Starbucks. We're gonna place an order. <laughs> of course it's, we have. Of course, well, you know, you have to when you're on a road trip to Universal. Yeah, we haven't been here in a while. No, do they have it? Do they have it? I don't see it. Oh wait, I do see it. Yes. Hey, it's our blue. Can I get brewing for you? Hi, can I have a venti peppermint hot chocolate? A oh. And also a venti pistachio cream cold brew. Can I have that half sweet? Okay. And that is it. Venti peppermint hot chocolate and a venti pistachio cream cold brew half sweet. Yes, please. See you at the window. Thank you. Yes. I'm super duper excited. She's excited. Beyond excited. She's super duper excited. Let's hit the curb. Don't curb. hit the curb. Curb. Where's my car? There's my car. Okay. We made it. Curb is probably better than the building. <laughs> but don't don't hit it. Or the Hi. Or when you whack the straws? Uh yes, please. The mirror when you whack the mirror with the Yeah, that's not good either. Thingy. Thank you. Is that for you? I don't know. Yeah, because you got the cold, right? Yeah. I've been seeing more and more people drink coffee from straws, and it's so they don't stain their teeth. And I'm about to become that person, but I cannot see myself at home with my regular coffee cup sticking a straw in it and sipping it from a straw. Well, if you're going to do that, you better go to the store and buy some straws, because we don't have any. Reusable straws. Oh. Or else. Or else. Or else. We're all in big... Ooh. Trouble. I'm trying to realize, is there, is there milk in, was I supposed to say with oat milk or is that when I order a latte? I'm really confused. I haven't had a cream cold brew in a long time. No, I think it's as I it couldn't is. order at Starbucks to save my life and you're asking me about Thank you. Oh my gosh, look at it. Just look at it. This is my pistachio. Oh, uh, salty looking. goodness. Here's your, uh, so good. So, so delicious. So, so good. So, mm. no, so delicious. And now we have a two hour drive to sip on that. Not two hours. Just about. No. Yeah, it is. It's, thank you. Have a great evening. An hour and 40 minutes. It's Might as well just say two hours. hours. It won't be when I'm driving. <laughs> Just oh, kidding. Let's hope the men and women of law enforcement aren't out on the highway or roadways today. I'm just kidding. I 100% respect the law enforcement and the posted speed signs and the seatbelt signs. Seatbelts, definitely. 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 Def definitely. All right, guys, let's go on our car journey, shall we? Universal and it is crowded for a Sunday at five in the evening.
filming on my phone so the sound might be off, but dinner was really good. And now we're heading to the Universal store to check out a couple of the things they have. guys it is officially two days past the universal dinner and I am making my coffee I was so tired guys it wiped me out I had a friend that messaged me and sorry it is like wicked dark we are getting storms here in Florida today everything is very very dark it's very warm which is also really weird because we have a freeze warning because the temperature is gonna drop 40 degrees in the next few hours which is wild you guys upward a little bit because the camera always wants to angle down and cut my head off all right put a pen under here Ta-da! okay that's better okay so the last thing you guys saw was us driving out of universal we had a very good dinner it was at big fire but i have to say i don't think it's my favorite and i don't know if i would i would go back but it's not my favorite in city walk so I've tried two in City Walk now, Big Fire and then Cowfish. And I think Cowfish is better. I really like Cowfish. They have sushi and burgers, so best of both worlds. And Big Fire has like steak and scallops and stuff like that. But as like a seafood, what is that? Is that a connoisseur? Like somebody who really knows their seafood well, I've, I've had better. So my recommendation to you guys, definitely do cowfish, um, but try, you know, try big, big fire if you would like, because it is still good, it is very good. Um, portions were a bit small, probably more of like that fine dining portion. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. We got to catch up with a friend and we talked for hours. So by the time we got home, it was like, I think a little after 11. And then I had a friend text me the next day cause they had like a birthday party and then they had like a friends get together party and they did two back to back parties in the weekend, no alcohol involved. You know, they have two kids now and we were talking about it back and forth. He's like, I used to party all the time in college, right? And then I do two back to back parties that don't even require, like you don't even drink and I am exhausted, wiped out. I was like, I feel that because the whole next day I was so tired and I'm like, is this is this part of getting old guys like you go out for one evening you, you know you take a long drive and driving makes you tired anyway but i was so tired the next day so yesterday um took care of some things for liam and we had relaxed day at home i tried to catch up on laundry and i just didn't pick up the camera and then today we've been out and about already got back in just before this big old wicked storm is coming through i think we're about to get rain and thunder and all that good stuff well that's already happening but um, that temperature drop. So we're home, but I did want to, um, like wrap up the vlog, talk to you guys about the rest of the evening and, um, let me know if you have eaten in city walk at universal studios, which restaurants you've eaten at. I still want to try the Mexican restaurant that's up there. I don't remember what it's called. I've heard that's really good. And I also believe there's a, um, Margaritaville restaurant. So let me know if you've eaten at any of those, what your favorite restaurant is up there. I would love to know oh 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 i forgot about um why am i wanting to call it the chocolate fondue big building freaking willy wonka what is it oh my gosh the toothsome emporium that's also a really good restaurant love that one that's up there with cowfish it might even be my favorite to cowfish <gasps> we should have eaten at the toothsome emporium that's really good and I do want to get some reading done today. One of the girls in our book club finished our book. Table is ready. I'll link it down below if you're interested in reading it for January's book club. 
we're getting down to the wire. She's like, I finished it. And I'm like, I haven't, I honestly, guys, I haven't picked it up in probably four or five days. I've been running around like crazy. So today I want to make some time while Liam's taking his nap to pick up the book, read it. I would love to get it finished today. That would be fun. And then I want to start brainstorming for that February book. Um, and we'll see. Like, naturally I want to pick something that's kind of romantic, but I know we have somebody in our book club group that isn't really into a romantic kind of vibe, but maybe I can find something that's romantic for like Valentine's Day, but with a twist, something that has a twist. Oh my gosh, you guys fool me once. I talked about this already. I already know that, but I was reading the comments on the video. No spoilers, but I know a lot of you seem to be unhappy with the ending of Fool Me Once, which I understand and I do I do understand and I feel that, but I wasn't disappointed per se. I mean, I was like, okay, well, I could see, I could see why. Plot twist, you know, guys, plot twist. It happens, but I really liked it. Still recommend it. And then, oh, a lot of you have been recommending, is it, I don't want to pronounce his name wrong. Hold on. Let me look him up really quick. Harlan Coben. A lot of you guys have been saying to read his series and he has other Netflix shows out and we found one last night. We started watching it. It's not as good. It's one word. It's one word. What is it called? It has the Dexter guy in it. Safe. That's what it's called. So that's currently on Netflix. So we started watching that and that has our favorite Dexter guy in it, uh, Michael C. Hall. So we really like him, so that's a plus. And like I said, I really like it. I can see like some similarities with the kind of different um, plots and stuff like that. Kind of like a whodunit basically, but thriller and I really like it. So that's cool. So we started watching that. I also treated myself to the biggest thing of sushi I've had in a long time. And when I mean I went for it, I went for it. I ordered me some four rolls of sushi and I had them all yesterday. I got the spicy shrimp roll, which I wish I would have got the spicy tuna because there was a lot of breading in the spicy shrimp. And then I got my basic California roll. I know a lot of people don't love a California roll because it is so basic, but I so that's what I got yesterday. That's what I did yesterday. That's the simple little wrap up of what it was with some boring phone calls, emails, and that kind of nonsense in between. But I had a good day yesterday. I also want to thank you guys so much. I did a recent video, like a get ready with me video. And so many of you guys like understood where I was coming from. And that makes me so happy because sometimes I feel like it's hard to explain everything that's going on in my head and like make sure that it kind of translates correctly. Whoa, whoa, that was a big flash of lightning. Larry's outside, he looked right at me. Get inside, he saw it too. You guys hear the thunder? The whole house is shaking, the windows are shaking. This wicked storm is what's gonna bring in that 40 degree temperature drop. Liam has just fallen asleep, so that is perfect. Um, anyways, I was really thankful and very excited to see like that what I was saying was making sense and a lot of you found that relatable and I'm glad that you guys understood and that we could talk about it in the comment section. I love that. I love when you guys leave comments and we can talk it out and I'm able to see like the feedback and what you guys feel and it's really important to me. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys again in the next one.